Hello and welcome to episode 31 of Kerbal Space Endeavor. We are still here on Moho after our first landing and now we're trying to get back into orbit and see if we can refuel our drive stage in orbit or if we'll be stuck here for eternity and all of our good little three Kerbals will die of... yeah probably they run out of food before they run out of oxygen or anything else. So yeah, we do not want that to happen. Moho's gravitational pull is quite strong, so as you can see me, I'm fighting against gravity as much as I can. It did pay off that I bring along the atomic engines because they use less fuel, but they also have less thrust, but it seems like it works. So yeah, we're just going to try to line up our orbit. The orbit of our drive stage is not equatorial at the moment. And it's not going to change, likely. <laughs> so we're just going to use it as it is. And try to get an encounter here. Yep. Okay, one time around, two times around. Oh, that's really convenient. Just two orbits and I actually get a fairly close encounter. So now I just need to fix this a little bit. A little bit more and there we go. We have a close encounter and we can come in here for a docking. Now, there is a little bit of a problem with docking that I had here, and that is the drive stage is not uh, controlled by any probe or anything, so we actually have to jump over there and get back inside to get somewhat of control back over the craft. Because as you can see, it kind of spins a little bit. I don't know why or how, but it just started to spin and I don't really want to waste that much uh, monopropellant fuel trying to match the rotation of the craft. So we'll just flip over, turn on SAS and then flip back here to the other craft and go in for a docking. Now the interesting part is, as you can see in the top right corner of the screen, we have a lot more fuel than we had when we left down back to the surface. So yeah, that does mean we are capable of using our lander to refuel the drive stage. I had about, I think, seven, a little bit more than 700 units of liquid fuel in the lander and we made it back down. Just in case this time around I'm gonna give myself a little bit more of a cushion because of um, we're gonna change some planes and everything but we get about 700 units of fuel and oxidizer into the drive stage with just one um, docking maneuver so yeah probably about three or four times I have to do this but other than that we are a good to go for the rest of the mission so now we're going down for the next biome that we found which is a Midlands crater, I believe. Come on, ever so gently, ever so carefully. Oh, too much, too much, too much. A little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit more. And... Touchdown. Stand, stand. And another successful landing on Moho. Yes. Midland Crater, right? Am I correct? Yes. Midland Crater. All right. Um, yes, we need to start extracting some carbonate again. There we go. And we can turn it into fuel. Liquid fuel. There we go. Okay. Let's do some science here, my friends. Number nine. Land research is useless. Let's wait until it's all loaded. Okay, laser surface scan from Moho. Scans of the deeper layer of Moho's surface 
exposed in these craters indicate the presence of various igneous, igneous rocks. Okay, transmitting. The sensors detect vibrations deep inside the planet. It appears that the interior is very volcanic active. Likely because it's so close to the sun. No, the materials bay bakes in the heat of Moho's surface. Okay, we've read that one before, and we observe the mystery goo. Yes, transmit the goo. Aren't there any other scientific things we can do around here? Um, temperature data. Transmit. Transmit. Log temperature. Transmit. Now we've got it. Okay. We can also clean these experiments. And once again, I think it is time to get back out and collect some super awesome. Oh, didn't want to let go. Oh, oh, oh ouch. Let's not break a leg. We don't have a medical bay with us. So, here we are in the Midlands Craters and plant a flag. Another flag by Billy Bobry Kerman. The next one, Lumen should plant the next one. Uh, odd reflections are detected in recorded vibrations. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna send that. Okay, um, Midlands Crater. This is a huge crater. And take a surface sample. The ground is made up of old lava flow, suggesting periods of intense volcanic activity. Keep the data. EVA report. It is getting very hot here. Something we have heard before. So let's get up here. And store these experiments store while we go down and bring another hard copy with us. And let go. There we go. Take another surface sample. Yes, keep it. And climb up the tower that is the rocket. Yeah, so this mission is a lot more successful than I anticipated. I was afraid that the landing gear would break off a lot more often and I was afraid I wouldn't be able to refuel the drive stage in orbit, but it does seem like it's going to work out just fine. Um, you guys are gonna get out just really quick and take another EVA report over the Midlands crater. Yes, get back inside and review the data, transmit, process, transmit. Now we're just gonna wait until this is done and oh, we need to turn back on our drill. Now we're gonna use the power of time acceleration until we're fueled up because we landed in a spot that doesn't have that much amount of carbonite in it. So yeah, we have to wait a little bit longer. I do have to be careful here that I do not spend too much time refueling in places where it takes longer. Otherwise we'll um, have our window of opportunity for returning home. And we need to catch that, otherwise we will have to stay in other orbit. And I don't know if we have enough food, water and oxygen for that. So yeah, we're going in for another docking maneuver and this time I was very, very aggressive. But we don't even have to wait in the orbit because we wanted to save time, as I said. So yeah, very aggressive, but we do get an encounter just by going up. And we have another docking maneuver. And we start refueling again. But let's jump ahead. So let's plant the last flag on Moho in the lowlands that we are right now. Oh, okay, we have a surface sample that needs to be transferred. Okay, uh, lowlands. We did it. We are done. 
we have unlocked all the secrets of Moho. Time to get home for some cake. Because cake is awesome. So yeah, the mission was successful after stopping at all of these biomes. We can get back into our craft and head back home. We still have 28 days until our window of opportunity to get back home. So yeah, while we're going back into orbit, um, I uncovered all of the biomes in time. We're in the central crater, the southeast crater, the southern crater, the midlands crater, the midlands themselves, the double west crater, the deep crater, the highlands, the polar crater. You can actually kind of see how I went about this. So everything that is in line here I used for refueling the craft. So I always landed, got back up, refueled the craft in space, got back down again. But once I hit the southern crater, our uh, drive stage was actually nearly complete. So I just landed here, refueled, landed here, refueled, landed here, refueled, landed here, landed here, landed here, refueled. <gasps> I didn't put a flag down in the Highlands crater. Oh no! Shame on me. Oh well. So yeah, let's jump ahead to where we are docked already. So our last docking with our lander. We have enough fuel to refuel the drive stage. It is completely stocked with all the fuel that it needs. The lander even has still a little bit of fuel left. I think it has enough fuel to go back down to the surface again if need be. But the likelihood of us returning back home, uh, back to Moho, is very slim because there's a lot of other planets I want to visit and Moho is actually done when it comes to science. So yeah, we're just going to do a couple here, set ourselves up, add some safety for our staging just in case. But you know guys, sometimes some things just tend to go wrong. Engines on. And that's why I do quick saves, because I pressed spacebar, which should activate the engines, but instead it likes to separate things. Ah, yes, glorious. If I were going to do a new series with a new version of the game, I will probably try to do it in ironclad mode, so pretty much no quick loading anymore. So I will really get punished for all these little mistakes I make, and then I'll have to figure out a way how to deal with them. But not in this series. Not in this series. So yeah, beginner's error. Always check your staging when trying to move things around. What did happen was I activated the engines a long time ago and then deactivated the game again so through the staging it was not possible to activate them again and so we went to the next stage which was separating all right so here we take a last view at our long and super useful lander and then time accelerate until it is time for us to leave moho and once we actually reach that timer, it is also time to set up our maneuver node to get back home. Home to Kerbin. Now, one thing that I realize now that I forgot while post-editing here is all the hard copies of the samples that I brought along, I left in the lander. <laughs> so maybe we do return to Moho to pick those up, but I don't know yet. So yeah, after our burn, our first initial burn, we have to fix our second maneuver node a little bit more. So we do get another encounter with Kerbin again. I always tend to frack up my initial burns somehow, but in the end I tend to fix them. So yeah, just going in here for a more focused view and trying to see where we get closer here. I dare say I love precise note. Without this interstellar f uh, stellar flight would be 
quite uh, inconvenient, I must say. But with it, it is not that big, big of a hassle and we get about a 500 kilometer periaps around Kerbin. So let's move on. Uh, in my decision to have the next mission a go, which is a Drez mission, I thought I might be using the Minmus lander, but after some thought and designing, I said, nope, we're gonna build a new craft, we're not gonna reuse the Minmus lander, and I don't really have any use for it, so we're just gonna turn it into scrap metal. And there we go, it's all shredded. And the same goes for our awesome Tron, which was really helpful when we tried to disassemble the old base, but now it is the design is flawed because it's too long. And yeah. Well, I did get a nice view for you guys here where I can use the internal camera to go in to the shredder, the recycling bin. And we have to bail out before we get into the shredder, otherwise our poor Jack would be crushed just as well. Another thing is I wanted to save lots of um, parts because the game starts to lag quite heavily when there's so many parts in one space. So yeah, here we are after some construction time. We have the Draz mission. It is pretty similar to the Moho mission, even though we have some more tweaks here. We have atomic engines at these long orange fuel tanks now, instead of just the puddle engines. And we have a little bit of an altered uh, Minmus uh, lander back here attached. So yeah, we have a better landing gear that we had in Moho. We have a little bit more fuel and yeah all over this craft should definitely be capable of getting to Draz, land and get back. The thing is Draz has less gravity than it does, than Moho does, but yeah. So we have Jolene as our captain, we have Enlen as our science officer, and we have Geofin as our engineer on board. And now I'm just making this up because this is not version 0 0.90, they're not actually have these perks yet, but yeah, just for storytelling purposes, we're just gonna assume that these are their ranks and positions. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna leave the dry dock here, turn on the engines, and um, get into, let's say, about a 600 kilometer orbit, and then move on. Now there was a little bit of a flaw in my design and after calculating how much time it will take me to get to Dres and back, because if you remember our uh, satellite mission for Dres still hasn't arrived yet, I decided, okay, we need some more fueled water oxygen. And even more, we need something that probably recycles oxygen and water. So I built this small little probe here that we're going to send to our Draz mission. However, I did lose the video file somehow of the docking maneuver, so I'm sorry for that. But you will see it in the next episode when it is actually complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and the next one will be right around the corner.